When the fate of the entire world rests in the hands of one warrior, the final battle becomes a fight not just for survival, but for the future itself. In the Soul Society's darkest hour, Ichigo Kurosaki must confront the ultimate evil, Aizen, in a duel that will decide the fate of all souls. The battlefield is set. In the ruins of Karakura Town, transported to the Soul Society, where the final showdown between Ichigo Kurosaki and Sasuke Aizen is about to unfold, Aizen having transcended into a near godlike being through his fusion with the Hokioku, stands as the embodiment of ultimate power and arrogance. Opposite to him is Ichigo, the substitute Shinigami, who has undergone intense training and personal sacrifice to prepare for this moment. For Ichigo, this battle is about more than just defeating Aizen, it's about protecting his loved ones, his home, and the entire soul society from Aizen's reign of terror. Aizen, on the other hand, views the confrontation as a mere step in his evolution, a chance to prove that he has surpassed all other beings, including the gods themselves. What happens when a human turned Shinigami must face a being who has transcended, who has transcended morality? This is the story of Ichigo Kurosaki, the unlikely hero with a heart of gold, and Sosuke Aizen, the former captain who seeks to overthrow the natural order and become a god. Ichigo Kurosaki, a high school student turned substitute Shinigami, has always been driven by a strong sense of justice and a desire to protect those he cares about. Over the course of his journey, Ichigo has faced numerous challenges, each pushing him to unlock new levels of power. For um, mastering his hollow form to achieving Bankai, Ichigo's growth has been nothing short of extraordinary. However, Ichigo's journey has also been marked by doubt and uncertainty, as he has struggled to reconcile his human side with the immense power he wields as a Shinigami. Now, as he prepares to face Aizen, Ichigo must tap into the ultimate form of his power, one that transcends even the abilities of a Shinigami. Sosuke Aizen, once a respected captain of the Gote 13, has always harbored a desire for ultimate power and control. His betrayal of the Soul Society and subsequent quest to merge with the Hokioku were driven by his belief that he could surpass all other beings and become a god. Aizen's manipulation of events and people around him reveals his cunning and strategic mind as well as his absolute confidence in his own superiority. Aizen views the final battle with Ichigo as a necessary step in his evolution, a chance to prove that he has risen above all others and that his vision of a new world order is inevitable. For Aizen, this battle is about asserting his dominance and cementing his place as an ultimate being. As the final clash between Ichigo and Aizen approaches, the tension between power and humanity comes to a head. Will Ichigo's determination to protect those he loves be enough to overcome Aizen's godlike power? Or will the world be reshaped in Aizen's image? Ichigo's resolve is unbreakable. As he prepares to face Aizen, he knows that this battle will be his greatest challenge, not just in terms of raw power, but in terms of his ability to protect those who depend on him. Ichigo's journey has taught him the importance of determination and heart, and he is ready to put everything on the line to defeat Aizen. The tension builds as Ichigo prepares for the final confrontation. He knows that Aizen's power is immense, but he also understands that this battle is about more than just defeating a powerful enemy. It's about proving that humanity and passion can triumph over ambition and cruelty. Aizen's confidence is about is absolute as he prepares to face Ichigo. He believes that his fusion with the Hokioku has made him invincible and that no one, not even Ichigo, can stand in his way. Aizen views this battle as a final step in his ascension and he is determined to crush Ichigo and prove that his vision of a new world order is inevitable. But as the battle approaches, Aizen begins to sense something in Ichigo, a quiet strength, a resolve that he cannot easily dismiss. The tension escalates as Aizen prepares to confront Ichigo, confident that his godlike power will ensure his victory. 
The tension reaches its peak as Ichigo and Aizen stand ready to face each other. Their eyes locked in mutual recognition of the stakes. This is not just a battle between two powerful beings. It's a clash of ideologies where Ichigo's belief in the strength of the human heart must stand against Aizen's vision of the world ruled by power and control. The stakes could not be higher as the outcome of this battle will determine the fate of the soul society and the entire world. When the power of a god meets the art of a hero, the battlefield becomes a crucible for the truth. The final showdown between Ichigo and Aizen begins now, where every strike carries the weight of their ideals and the future of all souls. The battle begins with Aizen unleashing the full extent of his powers, his attack fueled by the Hokioku's limitless potential. Ichigo now wielding the power of the final Getsuga Tensho, counters with incredible speed and strength, pushing Aizen in ways that no other opponent has before. Each clash of their blades sends shockwaves through the battlefield, altering the landscape and showcasing the immense power both combatants wield. Aizen's confidence is evident in his relentless attacks, each one aimed at overwhelming Ichigo and proving his superiority. However, Ichigo's calm demeanor and focused attacks reveal a newfound maturity and strength that Aizen did not anticipate. The battle is a test of both power and will, as each fighter pushes the other to their limits. As the battle intensifies, Ichigo is forced to confront consequences of using the final Getsuga Tensho, a technique that will strip him of his Shinigami powers. Once the battle is over, Ichigo knows that this technique is his only chance to defeat Aizen, but the cost is great. He struggles with the knowledge that by winning this battle, he will lose the power to protect those he cares about in the future. Ichigo's internal struggle becomes as intense as the physical battle, as he weighs the cost of victory against the need to stop Aizen. He knows that this is the moment that will define his legacy, and he is determined to make the sacrifice necessary to protect the world, even if it means losing a part of himself. Aizen's power is beyond anything Ichigo has faced before. Each attack designed to break Ichigo's spirit as much as his body. Aizen's confidence in his own superiority is unshakable, and he believes that no one, not even Ichigo, can stand against him. But as the battle continues, Aizen begins to sense that Ichigo's strength is not just physical, it is driven by a deep-seated resolve to protect and a willingness to sacrifice everything. The battle between Ichigo and Aizen becomes not just a physical confrontation, but a test of their respective ideologies. Aizen believes belief in the power of domination and control stands in stark contrast to Ichigo's commitment to protecting others, creating a clash that will determine the future of the Soul Society and the world. As the battle for the Soul Society reaches its peak, Ichigo's struggle between power and sacrifice intensifies. Can he find the strength to defeat Aizen and protect the world, even if it means losing everything he has fought for? Despite being pushed to his limits, Ichigo's determination remains unbroken. He knows that giving in to Aizen's power would mean abandoning everything he stands for. Ichigo's belief in the importance of protecting others drives him forward, even as Aizen's relentless attacks threaten to overwhelm him. Ichigo's focus sharpens as the battle intensifies, his every move guided by the need to stop Aizen and protect the Soul Society. He knows that this duel is not just about defeating Aizen, it's about proving that the strength of a human heart can triumph over even the most powerful of foes. Aizen's attacks grow more intense with each passing moment, his determination to crush Ichigo, fueling his every move. Aizen respects Ichigo's abilities, but he is determined to show that his vision of power and control is the true path to strength. The duel becomes a test of wills as much as a test of skill. With both combatants refusing to back down, Aizen's resolve is unwavering and he fights with the belief that his vision of the world is the only true path to power and order. In the face of Aizen's overwhelming power, Ichigo makes a final stand. His belief in the principles of protection and sacrifice give him the strength to continue fighting, even when the odds seem insurmountable. Ichigo knows that this duel is not just about survival, it's about proving that the ideals of compassion and selflessness can overcome the forces of tyranny and destruction. The tension reaches its peak as 
Ichigo taps into the full power of the final Getsuga Tensho. Determined to match Aizen's strength and bring the battle to a close, the stakes could not be higher, as Ichigo's victory hinges on his ability to uphold his principles while overcoming a powerful and relentless opponent. When the final blow is struck, the fate of the Soul Society will be decided. Will it be shaped by the ideals of protection and sacrifice, or by the ambition of a god? The moment of truth has arrived. As the final moments of the battle unfold, Ichigo's determination and resolve prove to be the deciding factors. With the power of the final Getsuga Tensho, Ichigo unleashes an attack of immense power, sacrificing his Shinigami abilities in the process. Overwhelming force of the attack defeats Aizen, shattering his ambitions and neutralizing his threat to the Soul Society. Ichigo's victory is not just a triumph of strength, but a testament to his unwavering commitment to protecting others, even at the cost of his own powers. His sacrifice is a powerful statement about the importance of compassion and willingness to put others before oneself. Aizen, defeated and stripped of his powers, is left to face the consequences of his actions. His defeat is a moment of reckoning as he realizes that his vision of godhood has been undone by the very qualities he sought to dismiss, compassion, sacrifice, and the strength of the human spirit. Aizen's fall marks the end of his reign of terror, but it also serves as a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the pursuit of power at any cost. The battle, while intense, ends on a note of resolution, with Ichigo having proven that his ideals of protection and selflessness can triumph over even the most formidable of foes. In the aftermath of the battle, Ichigo is left to reflect on his journey and the sacrifice he has made. The Soul Society begins to heal as the threat of Aizen is finally put to rest, and Ichigo is celebrated as the hero who saved the world from destruction. Despite the loss of his Shinigami powers, Ichigo's victory reinforces his belief and the importance of protecting others and the strength that comes from selflessness. The final moments leave the audience with a sense of hope and renewal as Ichigo prepares to continue his life knowing that his sacrifice has ensured the safety of those he cares about. The battle for the Soul Society has ended but the legacy of the substitute Shinigami lives on. In the face of the overwhelming odds, one young man's resolve to protect those he loves has triumphed. But as the dust settles, the question remains, what is the true cost of victory? And can Ichigo find peace in a world without the power he once wielded? Ichigo's victory is not just a triumph of skill, but a testament to his unwavering belief in the power of compassion and protection. Ichigo has proven that even in a world filled with conflict and power struggles, the ideals of selflessness and sacrifice can guide them to victory. As Aizen faces the consequences of his defeat, the world reflects on the impact of his reign and the lessons learned from his downfall. The characters reflect on the impact of compassion and the dangers of unchecked power. The battle between Ichigo and Aizen was not just a physical confrontation, but a classic ideology that will have a lasting impact on the future of the Soul Society and the entire world. Ichigo's victory was not just a triumph of strength, but a testament to the power of protection and the importance of staying true to one's principles. The final reflection leaves the audience with a sense of respect for Ichigo and the hope that despite the challenges ahead, the world can be guided by the ideals of compassion and selflessness that he embodies.